The Coin Lady channel is pleased to have you back. This is why the XRP ecosystem is going to create a new blockchain, guys. Very much so. And I will explain exactly what that implies. However, I will inform you right from the bat that it is a consequence of the incident that happened during the launch of the X automated market maker on the XRP ledger. If we want to make sure that our changes don't break anything on the XRP ledger, we can utilize this blockchain to test them first. Just so we're clear, this isn't a safety net of any kind. No, that is not the case here. This is an actual blockchain with a real token with a real market cap that will be available to trade on exchanges. Therefore, it's not a sure thing that it will happen. As far as the community is concerned, though, it appears to be gaining momentum. Frankly, I haven't encountered anybody who is opposed to this. I suppose some people will be opposed to it because we are such a large community. At this point in time, I am unaware of its existence. Since I am receptive to hearing many perspectives on this matter, I would be delighted to consider such arguments. Furthermore, before saying, yes, I firmly believe so. I want to listen to opposing arguments. So that's my life philosophy. To be honest, I'm impressed by how much sense this makes. Furthermore, I am unable to immediately identify any drawbacks. However, this was suggested by someone who became popular within the XRP community, we'll call them WIND. Local resident who learned about XRP sidechain. A new XRP sidechain has lately gone live. It is an independent blockchain. This is not an exaggeration. It is a legitimate occurrence. Therefore, he is the one who is advocating for this. For the time being, I'm going to venture to say that this will occur. There is a great deal of planning and preparation that needs to go place before a product like this is created and released. But seriously, is this something that might actually happen? In light of the comments made by other members of the community, I am of the opinion that the answer is yes at this time. I should preface this by saying that I come from absolutely no financial background. My counsel has nothing to do with money. By the way, you shouldn't base any purchases or sales on what I say, okay? As a hobby, I enjoy making films on YouTube regarding cryptocurrency for fun. I'm just an enthusiast. Moreover, for the sake of entertainment alone. So, in case you were unaware, I'll briefly fill you in. The community was required to discontinue using the automated market maker the very next day after its launch. Just because something terrible could happen was a very real possibility. The launch product on the XRP ledger might cause real money to be lost. Even if it wasn't likely, the fact that it is feasible and has gone live on the XRP ledger is significant, even though the likelihood of happening is low. That's why I'm so appreciative of the community's apparent effort, we'd specify when. But this post from March 23rd should do the trick. That would put the news's release in the evening on Saturday. Based on this, this comes straight from the official Ripple X account, which is Ripple, out of a sense of extreme caution. Our engineering team is collaborating with community members to rectify a discrepancy. We found in a few ammunition pools where transactions are not going through as planned. At this time, it is wise not to add any more cash to M pools and LP token holders. Think about cashing them in. As soon as new information becomes available, we will post it here. All right, listen up. They're basically trying to tell you not to use this. Step outside. As you can probably tell from reading between the lines, it's best to avoid exposure if you can help it. They have a very polished, business-like vibe, yet their point is clear. As for this, there is news. On Sunday afternoon, something occurred. They mentioned that the problem has been found. The mismatch has an impact on the DEX's operations and attempts to modify the payment engine channel's liquidity in some complicated payment path circumstances via and pools and order books we are currently consulting with the community to examine the suggested fix which will thereafter require an amendment vote after everything is said and done validators will need to cast their votes consequently it needs to achieve the 80 percent plus one mark okay so it's not quite plus one percent it must however exceed 80 percent the way it's coded is that once that has occurred a two-week timer will be set. The new version of the automated market maker would go online after two weeks if that threshold is sustained. Thus, we still have a few weeks to go. 
However, like I mentioned yesterday, I simply believe that everything will work out in the end. It's unfortunate, but I don't know of anybody who has been seriously hurt by this. Further, I understand that it's somewhat of a slop fest. Still, we're ironing out the wrinkles, and this is going to make XRP more viable in the long run, as well as XRP budget for the future. Thus, everything will work out fine in the end. As far as anyone can tell, we also gained something pretty awesome from it. This is a great post from Sunday afternoon from, I guess, Wind. Wind is one of the most prolific developers in the entire XRP ecosystem. I'm sure most of you already know who he is. I'm sure most of you are already familiar with XRPL Labs. I mentioned it before. In the middle of all this chaos around the introduction of the automated market maker, he wrote this on XX. Long ago, or maybe, not so long ago, but we're still talking about crypto, I tweeted Hugo from Flare My Reservations about a canary network. I saw my error now that it was too late. So, I'm going to pause there. An isolated blockchain for testing purposes is the backbone of a canary network. Here on the screen, I'm bringing up Kusama, the first canary network ever. It's more than just like, though, my live CoinWatch status is visible here. This is a real, functioning, decentralized blockchain. Polkadot Polkadot is a canary network that keeps an additional blockchain operational. The main idea is that this is going to be a real upgrade from having a testnet, which is more like a closed system than a live blockchain and doesn't have any coins that can be traded on exchanges. Instead of doing that, so, they just duplicated Polkadot and dubbed it something else. So, Kusama is a Polkadot knockoff. You can use Kusama to observe your launches and pokes if you're interested in that. As a first step, you can edit anything on Kosamba. After that, assuming it passes muster in real-world testing, there won't be any issues. It won't ruin everything. After that, you put it into action on Polkadot, the platform upon which all enterprise-level software should be constructed. It is based on that line of thinking, because it is a real, operational mainnet. We cannot call it a testnet when we are testing it. A live blockchain is this. You can try it out on one blockchain first, and if it passes, you can switch to the other. Things can go wrong on Kusama, but that's part of the plan, and everyone knows it. Yes, that is the main idea. Flair ended up mimicking this. To put it simply, that is Songbird. Additionally, I may have already stated this, but I'm not sure. Therefore, I'll repeat it here in case I forgot. The first canary network in the world is Kusama. This originated from that place. The innovators, the polka dot folks, were the trailblazers. And now everyone loves and uses it. Therefore, Kusama will continue to serve a purpose for as long as polka is relevant. Consequently, towards the end of Flair's creation, the Hugo affiliate, one of the main characters, and the developers behind it came up with the concept to essentially mimic it. Flare is what they came up with, though it functions similarly to Flare. This blockchain stands on its own. The name of this bird is Songbird. Assuming that most of you are familiar with Flare and Songbird, I'm explaining this simply because, without it, the meaning of this wouldn't be apparent. So, allow me to spend a few minutes explaining it. Additionally, the XRP community is always seeing new members join the crypto space. So, before we get into the rest of our conversation, I want to make sure we both understand one other. Nonetheless, it serves a purpose. In fact, this is the current plan of action for the XRP ledger. We are, as you will see, discussing the creation of a new blockchain. It will be an exact replica of the XRP blockchain. Such a canary network would safeguard the XRP ledger from errors like these. What transpired recently with the AMM error would not have occurred if this had previously been implemented, as it would have occurred on an independent blockchain. As a result, people can still freely guess about these things. I also brought this up because I have these charts posted here. Such chains are quite valuable. According to market cap and polka dots, it's at number 14. You are looking at canary blockchain. A 129 is Kusama. Out of almost 20,000 currencies, it has the 129th largest market cap. I am astounded. Flareflakes is 81st in market cap. 
which is outstanding in and of itself. And considering how recently it went online, a little over a year ago, check out Songbird. Even though Samba 281 has a market cap of over 20,000 coins, it's hardly surprising that it's lower than Flare. The fact that Kusama's market cap is smaller than Polkadot's is understandable. Is a Canary Network planned for the XRP ledger? Or do you anticipate that pitch to take precedence over Kusama? I find that intriguing because, as a speculator, you might be asking, how high will that sound about Moskowa and price? Plus, I have no idea. I mean, we're all in this for the money, aren't we? So, a lot of people will be interested if that occurs. Without further ado, I'm going to assume that it